With this Excel VBA title, you'll get a set of working files. Now they've been structured to match the chapters of the title. So you'll see that we have chapter one all the way through to chapter 11. Some of the chapters have more files than others. If for example, we look at chapter one, that has my first macro, sample macro, and sample macro XLSX. You can see there's a different on the extension there. So even though the file name's the same, the file extension is different. If you are on Windows and do not have your file extensions showing, which some people don't, and by default they're not showing, I would certainly recommend that you turn the file extensions on. Although you can tell what a file is by going across to the type and expanding that, you can see we have the macro enabled worksheets and a normal worksheet. I personally prefer to see the extensions because it gives a lot of way about the file. So if you go to organize when you're in Windows Explorer, folder and search options, view, and come down and make sure that this option here does not have a tick in it. Hide extensions for known file types. That's personally the first step that I carry out when I sit down at a new machine that they're not visible on. Because although you get a little icon and you get a type, sometimes they don't match up. Sometimes the operating system doesn't quite match the type to the correct file. And by seeing the file extension, that gives you much more information, particularly in Excel where you've got different file extensions for different versions and for macro enabled files. So it's worth seeing them. So it's here. You'll find this tick is on by default in Windows. So you need to come in, take that tick off, apply. Now I haven't physically changed anything, but if I had changed something, you would see up here the option to apply to all folders. Make sure you then click that and then OK. If you take this tick out and click OK, it will only affect the folder you're currently looking at. So you need to click Apply, so it makes the change to this folder. Then come up to Apply to all folders and then click OK, and it will do it the same to every Windows Explorer window that you open from then on. Some of the chapters have result files. So although inside the actual lesson we'll be using perhaps degrees function here, the results, any work carried out with degrees function is then stored as degrees function underscore result. So you'll find some files will have an underscore result option as well to allow you to look at the result that was obtained throughout the actual chapter. Chapter 10, which is a biggie, has some result files, as you can see, but it also has some complete ones. So they're not listed inside the actual title, therefore after. And because that's the one where we're using different form objects, each of those form objects has their own file as a result. So MSG box, multiple tabs, ref edit. These are all the result of work carried out throughout the title. So that's chapter 10. So when you get to chapter 10, you'll find that the result of some of the work is stored in here as these files. Hopefully you'll be able to find your way around. Everything's in the correct chapter. So if it's not in that chapter, then it doesn't exist. But everything that I've used throughout the title is here and looks the same as where you've seen it on the screen.